to my channel. Today we're talking what's new in my wardrobe, stuff that is maybe hasn't made it into hauls or anything because there's only like one or two items I picked up from that store. I feel like we should just get into it because I feel like we're all so excited for autumn fashion. I most certainly am. I will link this outfit as well down below as well because I know you guys will ask. I'm always the worst at linking to what I'm actually wearing because I just forget. So, so sorry about that guys. I'll start linking what I'm wearing like in the video more. So first I want to talk about bags. These are the bags that I'm adding colour with into my wardrobe this season. They're both from JW Pay. Just so you know, they were gifted to me as press samples, but you guys will know I have two bags already from them. One is the pink version of this, and one is the kind of uh, pattern, white pattern version of this one. So I knew what I was getting when I got these. I love the shapes. This one is more of a grab bag, which is like this. I wouldn't really wear it on my shoulder. I just feel like it's a bit too tight. So it's definitely more of a grab bag, whereas this is a true shoulder bag. And I love it. I love the colour. I think it would just add a pop of colour even to just this outfit. Really, really cute. This one is almost like embossed, like croc embossed. And this one is just the buttery kind of faux leather. So yeah, I love these. And I can't wait to style them in autumn winter just to add like pops of colour to outfits. Next up is this bag. It's from New Look and it's pretty much new in. I was originally going to get the By Far bag that looks really similar to this and when I saw it on the New Look website I thought I'd get this one instead. This one's actually slightly bigger and it's just basically like a big, I think they're called hobo bags, right? Um, it's just really cute. It's just going to fit all my stuff in and it's just so good for autumn winter to like throw on your shoulder. Classic black faux leather is always a good idea. It also comes in cream which I'll link down below as well. I just think it's just a classic black bag for autumn winter that's just gonna see me through the entire season because I'm the type of person that loves a bag like this that it literally just opens, I throw my stuff in, I grab and I go. It's also got this really big wide strap which means that it's so comfortable on the shoulder and it's just very easy and comfortable to wear which I love. Next up I have a few bits from H&M. This was in my H&M haul but I'm gonna mention it again just because I've been wearing it so much. It's just basic black kind of pleated skirt. I'll link similar down below. Um, I'm not sure if this one is sold out on H&M or not, but I love it. It's just a plain black pleated skirt and you can just style it with anything, even just with this top and then a blazer on top. So yeah, just an honorable mention for this one because genuinely I can't remember a skirt that I've worn this much. Probably my black Zara A-line one. This is just a completely different fit. It's really nice for that kind of academia, like dark academia styling that we love for autumn. Next up is this one from H&M. This one wasn't in my H&M haul. I got this one slightly later, but I absolutely love it. It's like a polo shirt, as you can see here with a collar. Um, I really, really love it. It's got like a three quarter length sleeve. Um, the bottom is finished really nicely. It's a V, but it's not deep. Like it sits above the cleavage, which I really like because it's not too, it's not too much. Um, and it's so easy to style, especially with like a check skirt or even like some jeans tucked in at the front. Very casual styling, throw on some loafers, very casual, which I love. It's also got kind of like, it's quite, th it's not the thinnest knit, but it's not the thickest. It's like a medium knit, which is really nice um, for just literally just wearing a little bra, this on top, like a nude bra, this on top, and then that's it. <laughs> you don't need a jacket on top right now. Obviously going into further into autumn, we'll be wearing more jackets and stuff, which you'd totally be able to start with this, especially blazers. I see blazers and this going so well together. Chef's kiss. Next up is my first jacket purchase of the season, which is this one from Zara. I wanted this one last year. I actually picked it up, got home, and then the lining was ripped. So I had to take it back and then they were completely out of my sight. So I'm so glad that it's come back for this season. I love it. It's just a plain black and white jacket with black buttons. Very, very, very classic. Really happy that they're bringing back the jackets from last season that performed really well because they know they're going to sell. And I will link similar ones down below because I'm not sure if this one's gone out of stock already because everyone is buying jackets, guys. And yeah, I'm really glad I got my hands on this one. I can't wait to style it. I feel like very much like my black blazers or my classic blazers and stuff. I feel like shackets don't feature on my Instagram all that much because I'm more wearing like outfits like this for like socials and just like for general, like if I'm, if I'm going into London and I want to feel a bit more like um, on trend and stuff. But this is definitely something I'll throw over on jeans on the weekend for an off duty look. I love it. Next up is this light knit from Zara. It's got like a scoop neck. It's very, very light knit. Um, this one got in a medium and it fits really, really nicely. I just wanted something that was just very easy to like tuck like this, like into something that wasn't a crop. So I love these from Zara. They have them in black and I think they have them in a nude. And it's just so like such a good alternative if you don't want to have a crop top. I know some people absolutely 
detest crop tops, which I understand because they're not for everyone. Um, this is a really good option. It also comes in black and they also have slightly thicker versions as well. The only problem that I have with this is because I do have a larger chest, um, I do actually get a bit of cleavage with this, which is, um, I think it's because I'm short as well. As you can see where it hits on me, um, yeah, I do get a bit of cleavage with this. So I think I'm going to be taking this back, but I thought it would be worth an honourable mention because I know of you, a lot of you are looking for um, kind of top, tops that you can wear with trousers like this, like for example like this, that aren't cropped. And this is a great example. They also have a slightly higher necked one, which I'm actually going to search for. I couldn't find it in the store. but um, So this one's going to go back for me, but I'm going to go back for the higher neck. Next up is this trench. I love it so much. This is actually from All Saints. I might just pop it on for you guys now. So yeah, this is from All Saints. I absolutely love it. It is so cute. The only thing annoying thing is, is these bits flip out at the back. I might just actually pin them into place because it can get a little bit annoying that they always flip like they come out of these little holes. Um, so I might just like pin them in place. But it feels so nice. It fits so nice. I know it's spenny because it's All Saints, so I will link similar down below. They also do really good petite ones now in various brands. I'll also link those down below. You can totally get this look for less than <laughs> what you would pay for an All Saints um, trench. So I'll definitely link down below similar ones for you guys to shop with, just because I know it's not like necessarily like attainable for everyone to spend this much on a trench coat. Yeah, you can get this for the equivalent for under £100, which I... Um, we'll link some options of down below and there are also some really cute ones in different colours There are some faux leather ones. There are some spliced ones, which I love I might get a spliced one for myself just for something a little bit different But look how easy that is to style guys this on top of it like it goes with so many different things white t-shirt jeans It also works with that. Um, yeah, I must say this is one of my favorite buys I'm so glad I got my hands on a trench like a classic stone colored trench Okay, next up I have a classic oversized jacket. I'm gonna throw this one on for you guys as well because I would totally wear it with this outfit. It is so cute. There are quite a few oversized leather jackets floating around, so I'll link some down below. This one's from Misguided. It was on ASOS, it's now gone out of stock. I think it's still available on the, on the Misguided website, but I will try and find some similar ones as well just in case it's gone out of stock. It is so cute. It's a very long one, as you can see. I'm only five foot two, so it's a little bit longer on me than probably intended, but um, I really like the oversized fit. I think they even do this in a petite fit, but I prefer the oversized fit on me personally. I love how big and kind of like boyfriend jackety it is. It's really, really edgy and cool, and it adds a completely different dimension to this look compared to the trench coat, as you can probably tell. But yeah, I absolutely love it, and I will link similar ones down below because I feel like I'll be wearing this so much. Next I have a classic pair of blue jeans. These are a vintage wash blue pair of straight leg jeans. They're the Hannah jeans. I got them in a size 10 with a short leg from New Look. And I think that they are so, so, so cute. I love the kind of vintage look of them. The, the denim in the New Look jeans is also really nice. It's not completely not stretchy. It's got a tiny bit of stretch, but it's also like very thick. And it doesn't feel like you're wearing like jegging type material. I hate those kind of jeans. They're really, really nice and thick. The length is also spot on for a petite fit, which I absolutely love. Like the short leg fit is really, really nice. I can't wait to style these with like this top and some ducks. Really, really cute for styling into autumn winter. Again, with the trench coat or even this as well with this black top. I feel it's just like, you can just make easy, easy outfits out of these jeans. For instance, with this as well. So, so easy. A pair of classic straight leg jeans is something that everyone should be adding to their wardrobe because they're just so easy to style. And they're also not so tight that they're skinny, but they're also not so baggy that they're that kind of 90s baggy trend, which not everybody loves. So yeah, love them. Next up, I have some corduroy jeans. So they these are the baggy fit. I think they're just called baggy fit. They are from Topshop. I got them in a waist 28 and leg 32. And I must say, like, even the waist 28 is a little bit big on me, which never, cat hair, oh my god, cat hair. Yeah, so these are a tiny bit baggy on my waist, which never really happens for me um, in a UK 10 or a waist 28. So keep that in mind. I think the cord is made, like, so the measurements are slightly bigger than a normal pair of jeans. I really like them. I'm gutted that the, obviously, they're leg 32, they're a regular leg. My normal leg is about a leg 28 to leg 30, so I will have to have these taken up by, like, four inches. Um to make them fit, but I think it will be worth it. They're these gorgeous kind of stone colour, 
top cords as you can see there I love the uh, I love the kind of color of them I think that they're really nice the fit is also really really flattering which I dare say because cord is not the most flattering thing to wear the fit is really flattering and I do love the kind of milkshake vanilla color next up on the new in is my Docs. So yeah, I absolutely love these. These are also in my new in, in my ASOS haul, but I thought I'd give them a solid mention here as well, just because um, I love them. I really, really do. I uh, absolutely adore them. I've been styling them with everything. With this outfit, I'd wear my docs very, very easily. It also has this chunky sole, which isn't a platform. It isn't too big. It doesn't make them difficult to walk in, but it also adds a few inches, especially for me. I'm only five foot two. It adds... <laughs> A solid two inches so I'm almost 5'4 when I wear these um, and that's amazing <laughs> I absolutely love them they are ridiculously flattering the only thing is obviously breaking them in I'm still breaking them in this bit here hurts still so I'm still working on that I've been breaking them in for like two or three weeks now so I'm just still working on this little back section here that which does rub after wearing them for like two or three hours but um, I'm slowly slowly getting there were they worth the money? Absolutely. Next up in the new in is my pride and joy. These are the Prada loafers that I picked up, um, I wanna say two weeks ago. I love them. I'm in love with them. Again, I'd wear them in this outfit. Like <laughs> I really would. I absolutely love them. I will link them down below and I'll also link similar ones. River Island do a pair that looks almost identical to these. They're so good. Um, they're really good dupes. I'll link those down below. Just because I know 750 pounds to spend on a pair of shoes is a lot of money, but I treated myself. I wanted these for over a year now I've wanted these, been thinking about them for over a year. I've tried them on twice and didn't buy them. So when I went in to get them and they had them in my size, it was meant to be because I'm a, th I'm a 4.5, so I'm 37.5 um, and they never had them in stock. So <laughs> love them. I honestly can't get enough of them. I will do a full video on these once I've kind of got my thoughts together about them, you know, and I can do a full review for you guys because obviously it is a lot of money to spend on a pair of loafers. Do I love them? Yes. Are they classic? Yes. Will I wear them over and over again? Yes. I absolutely love them. I feel like I'm going to get such good wear out of them. And they're just such a classic shoe. Next up, I have these like office shoes. I can't remember what they're called. They've got like a name for them. I can't remember, but they are from a brand called Republic, Royal Republic. There we go. Um, and they're a brand that is Dutch based in Amsterdam. I absolutely love these so much. Again, with that big thick sole, it gives me like two inches of height, which I love. I think they're called, are they called Oxfords? Can't remember what they're called, but I absolutely love them. I think that they're such good quality. I'll find some similar ones down below that you can maybe get on like ASOS or somewhere like that, or maybe office shoes, but they are really, really, really cute. I absolutely love them. So comfortable. And again, I wear them with this outfit. Very easy to style, very easy to style shoes. And I just think that they're a nice little twist. If you're not a big loafer fan, maybe try these ones out because they do still have laces and they kind of have that loafer fit without the kind of pull on. You still have to do them up. So try these out if you're not a big fan of loafers. Okay guys, I have some new in stuff from Primark Home as well. I thought I'd sit down with you and do this because I actually need a coffee break. So let's talk about Primark Home. I picked up this from Primark Home and I was obsessed when I saw this. This was six pounds from Primark Home. Recently I bought it in the Stratford, no, the other Westfields, the White City Westfields, Shepherds Bush Westfields. I picked it up in there and I absolutely love it. It's got these lovely, little white kind of blobs in it. Really, really cute. It's just a little vase. I'm currently using it. I might actually use it as a, I'm not sure actually, is it supposed to be a vase? Yeah, it says vase, right? But I was kind of thinking I could use it as like um, a candle tumbler because I do have some candles. They're not real candles because obviously the cat, but it's like a little open flame candle that's like fake that I could put in there that I think would look really, really nice. Next up is this one. So this is the other one I picked up. It looks so much like a H&M home vase. And again, it is six pounds. Sorry, that's a little bit of pollen from one of my flowers. There we go, because there we go. Six pounds and maybe it's best if I show you now, but it's got all of these speckles on, which are really, really cute. And also the shape of it. It's very H&M home. It's definitely something that I was looking at from H&M home, but I would have expected to pay 
six pounds so i do expect to pay at least three or four times that amount for the h&m home one it is still ceramic it's still got those lovely speckles on it i think obviously the finish of the h&m home one will probably be a bit better but for what it is like on the side i think that it looks really really nice and it kind of suits the kind of autumn aesthetic that i'm going for the next one is this one and i when i saw this again i thought h&m home zara home that's exactly what this looks like it was eight pounds there we go eight pounds and it is just kind of like a dark black frosted glass type situation and i have been popping my pampas grass in um to style it with like that and i just think it looks really really cute i love the way it looks and it just looks so classic and again for my, my autumn setup this all really works so nicely so cheap as well there's so much good stuff in primark at the moment definitely go and have a look there is so much at the moment going on in uh, Primark home and um, I went to the one in yeah Westfield White City or Westfield Shepherd's Bush whichever one it's called and um, it's the one on Aerial Way when you look it up on like Google Maps that's the one I went to and they had all of this stuff and more but I only chose like three pieces because I was like I only really need three pieces so definitely check that out they've got so many amazing bits at the moment in the in the Primark home department that look like Zara home that look like H&M home that look like Mango home but they are like eight pounds six pounds you know like really really good price points okay guys that's everything in today's video my favorite piece in this haul i'm gonna say the prada loafers just because they're prada loafers but probably the shoes like just generally the the doc martens and the prada loafers i absolutely love plus i've worn this an awful lot already this um white kind of polo top really flattering very easy to wear absolutely love it and obviously the trench because i've been dying for a trench and i'm in love with the trench i'm so glad i picked it up so easy to style and i think i'm gonna get one in like another color that is maybe like a spliced one just so it's a little bit more jazzy but i love the classic stone if you're gonna buy a trench coat do you get something like really classic maybe a black maybe a stone maybe a sage green because it will see you through all the way through the season don't forget to let me know your favorite piece in the hall in the comment section down below if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content from me and i will see you lovely people in my next video bye